Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, we're all kind of hanging out in the shop here. And, uh, well, it's, uh, if you guys keep up with me on Facebook, you know that we're all just getting done with the funeral. So, a little bit of a sitting here and just kind of chilling afterwards. But, we have some shop things going on here today. A little bit of a ceremonial, but nothing to do with anything sad. But, uh, anyway, so I got a little bit of viewer mail, as you can see. So, we're going to go ahead and open this up. And we'll go ahead and read the letter and this letter is sent to me by Andy so Roman would you read me a letter read me a letter great teacher or something it reads the letter show the pictures show the pictures Andy sends me pictures of his tractors he's got a cub cadet identical to mine but without the modifications for the blade and stuff. Actually a pretty cool looking tractor and looks like a it's a 5088 Case IH. Well, no, I take that back. It's not a Case IH. That's an international. Um, I'm sorry that you're driving an international tractor, but <laughs> I wish Phil was here because he would make fun of me for having said so. I know I wish, I wish uh, Phil were here too. Okay. It looks warm there. Yeah, it looks warmer <laughs> here. Dear Wayne, I love your videos and watch them a few times a week. They always make me want to be a farmer. More than ever. My dad and I run an IH5088, which was pictured in the picture, I believe. And shoot two John Deere heads and John Deere combine harvester. Don't do hay, only corn and beans. I also run 1977 International Cup Cadet. 1650 with the snow blade and a deck. We also have a 74 Cadet, 85 and 98 Husqvarna YTH150 with deck and snow blade. The Cub Cadet picture is mine, but I don't have a 5088 picture. Okay, so I was wrong. Oh. So on YouTube, I have left many comments saying that I am letter L3TTR. And I might even subscribe. Can't wait for more Cub Cadet 50 Cent International. Hopefully, loads their videos from you. your friend in Illinois, Andy. Also known as letter L3 TTR. Okay, so thank by you very way, much for. By oh. the way, don't hesitate. Just subscribe, dude. <laughs> yeah, don't be holding back there. Um, so, thank you, Andy, for the letter. I appreciate that. Now it seems that Roman has made a small donation to the shop, some memorable items. I get a lot of questions about the little yellow Chevette. I uh, regret to say that uh, in the things that had to go, the Chevette was one of them. It just didn't uh, fit with the program. I really, it made us all kind of sad to keep it, but we got to keep a memento, something that Roman had been hanging on to, and that's a hubcap off of the Chevette. So. Seeing that Roman has made his donation to the shop, Roman gets to choose the placement. <laughs> Will they fit in the fridge? They won't. No, we can't keep your headers for <laughs> because, because then your international harvester will have headers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could bolt them to the side. <laughs> <They're> like, <"Arr." laughs> Run some stacks out well, we the. Always talk about putting headers on the on the Bronco. If we just like bolt them to the rusty spots to cover it. Like, <laughs> right here. That's really well, doesn't it? Oh, jeez, that's funny. <laughs> Maybe the look you get going down the road with the oh, headers sticking out the side of your. I like it. <laughs> oh, good lord. So we're going to have to ponder this and think about it, and. Uh, yeah, it's a sculpture. <laughs> Not on my bench. You're not the having a sculpture. Off, so you can't have. See, you can't have sculpture. You, I can't bolt them to the fridge. I can't bolt them to the Bronco. You got a dead man up right there. Yeah. Never said it couldn't be above his wall. Yeah. Never said they couldn't be on the ceiling. Right. That would be kind of interesting to put him on the ceiling. Yeah, it would. So we're gonna think about this, and the next time we have a uh, video in the shop. You get to see where Roman put his donations. Well, in anticipation. I, I will, oh, nobody boy. will tell you it'll be just placed somewhere. Yeah. And then whoever says where they were put first will get a big thumbs up from someone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't have any prizes, but. All of you guys can help Roman out, of course, my channel being interactive as it is. And uh, decide where you think they should be. So, we'll see you guys in another video.
Rusty. By the way, we haven't made introductions yet. Rusty just recently found out that his friend Best is... Buds on YouTube. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Yep. I watched some videos last night. Very educational. Mm-hmm. Very mm -hmm. educational. Well, they weren't all educational, but... Well, no, not exactly all of them, but... Interesting, well, anyways. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. So, YouTube. YouTube. This is Rusty. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Captain Commando. Long time no see on YouTube. Oh God, I know. I'll get a channel someday. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yesterday, yeah. day before, we were sitting in my house watching videos with you on. I have to. I have to pan over in more anticipation because I get a lot of questions. So. Oh, oh, now you guys can think about it. <laughs>